what they go do with me now. I'm still a talk of the town. Don't need assistance, I'm hooking them down. We turn the smiles into frowns. You can't hop out, then we clearing the Hey guys, we're in a new episode of Talk of the Town. Today we have a special guest. Jeezly. Jeezly, Jeezly. Hey guys. So how are you? I'm good. I'm happy, you know. Yeah. A lot of motion and shit, you know. You say you what? A lot of motion and shit. A lot of motion. So you moving yeah. around. Yeah. Have you how you been dealing with that? I mean, I gotta deal with it, but I, I've been dealing with it good, I think. Pretty good so far. So happy place. Happiness. All right, so we're gonna play a quick game, rapid fire questions. I'm gonna ask you a question, just say the first thing that comes to mind. Okay. You from where are you from? The Bronx. Okay. Describe the Bronx in one word. Ghetto. Last but thing, a good ghetto. A good ghetto. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Last thing you spend money on? My hair. Never be cheap with your hair, ladies. Never. Favorite artist outside of hip hop? Outside of hip hop? Mm. Lana Del Rey. Favorite app? Excuse me? Favorite app? Instagram. <laughs> um, your dream car? Um, it's, it might not sound crazy, but I really want a GLE 63. AMG, red interior, boom. <laughs> yeah, nothing crazy. Um, what's the artist you feel like is overhyped? Everybody be excited for, but you're like, eh. Oh, you're trying to get shady, huh? What do you mean? I mean, it could be anybody. <laughs> you're trying to be, get shady. I'm really not. Like, people mm. be overhyped. For, to me, people be overhyped to Playboy Cardi. Like, you see how they be wild at the concerts? I feel like I don't be feeling like that. I, feel, I see what him. you mean. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's a, lot of, it's a lot of artists like that, but at the end of the day, everybody got their own opinion. You feel me? And okay. I don't want my opinion to take me the wrong way, so <laughs> we might spin that. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, okay, what, what's the artist you listen to for motivation? For motivation? Mm -hmm. Honestly, I've been listening to all the girls lately. Like, okay. all the girls right now... It's killing it. Ice Spice, um, Lola, Mulatto, Cardi, like all the girls, they just okay. come in. So they motivate me because, you know, we all girls, we come mm -hmm. from nothing. Like, so, yeah. Is there a specific song you feel like or not? Nah? nah, I don't got a specific song. It just depends on the day. Honestly, it's mine. Okay. My, like my own songs. To motivate you to Yeah. Shit. Okay, what's one word you say in every song? <laughs> <laughs> That's your favorite album, I guess. Yeah. Um, who do you feel like is underrated? Um, me. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, celebrity Definitely. crush. Celebrity crush. <laughs> ah! Bro, come ah! on, come on. You can't spin every right, question. Right. I mean, crush. He gotta be a. He, he could be an actress or something, right? Yeah. Is this a celebrity crush? I mean, he died though. Ooh. Paul Walker. Oh. He died. R.I.P. I love mm -hmm. you, baby. Wait for me up there. Come. Wow. Yeah. Okay. You wasn't expecting that, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> and last one. See, because you've been spinning me, so I don't know if I should even ask Go ahead, go ahead. Just shoot, baby, shoot. <gasps> Which rapper would you not let date your daughter if you had one? Ooh. None of them. None of y'all, none of y'all, none of y'all. Like, this is clip. <laughs> okay, so tell us a little bit about how you got started into music. Um, it was, it came to me. Like, I mean, since I was little, my dad always was in the church music, mm -hmm. in the church band. So <clears throat> I always go with him to like practice or hear him play the, the drums. And that's how the music came into me. Okay. But then as growing up, I just started freestyling just like that for fun mm -hmm. to my friends joking around cutting ass on bitches or something straight <laughs> okay. you know shit like that and it would rhyme and it would sound fire and eventually i did a, a freestyle i recorded it on my phone mm -hmm. and i posted it it was a freestyle me sitting in the car i was doing the act up remix city girls okay i did my own version english by the way all english okay and it went crazy on instagram like they was jacking it they okay. was jacking it and then a dj called me to perform it Okay. A freestyle, like it was crazy. You a DJ called me to perform. Oh, it was so crazy, freestyle. like it, they called me to perform it in the club. I'm like, what? Really? I ain't even. I don't even got a song out, like. Right. And yeah, that's what happened. That's what got me really into music. Okay, so from so you post freestyle in the car. Like, how many days after did you get the call from the DJ? Probably like a week. That same week, yeah, a couple days, couple days. Okay, sure. so when did you finally go to the studio? 
to lay down. Did you lay that song down officially, or that was just? It was a. It was like a SoundCloud thing. Okay. Yeah, okay. Like, I did. I did lay it down. I put it on SoundCloud, but that was about it. Okay. Um, but yeah, I got into the studio officially, like to lock in. Mm-hmm. Well, like a year ago. Okay, so it's been like a year so far. Yeah. Okay, so how has that been? Great. I love it. Okay. And yeah, it's family, been good. Family supportive of it. Yes. Yes, they are. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Are, do they listen to you or you don't know? Oh, yeah. Word for word. They, they know, know word for word? <laughs> they know every song word for word. I'll be like, that That makes me, like, cringe. Like, just seeing them watch my videos. It's just, ah. At least don't watch it when I'm there. Let me let me leave first. And so then you, you watch shy, it. you shy? Like, you don't want to watch it with them? Or just because it's family? I'm just like that with everybody. <laughs> like, you could sit here and watch my videos. I'm like, oh, my God. Like, I'm a cringe a little bit. Um, So you feel like you still, like, I don't want to say shy, but maybe, like, I don't know. Just a little bit. Because do people be stopping bit. you and stuff? Yeah. Taking pictures and stuff. Yeah. So you're kind of used to it. Getting I'm, used, I'm getting used to it, yeah. But especially with the family, though. You could say that. Like, okay. if it's family, yeah. Okay. And so you make Latin trap. I make English, saying? Spanish, Chinese, Japan. Whatever you want, <laughs> baby. <Nah. laughs> I make English and Spanish, though. Okay, okay, mm. okay. But in the Spanish, is Latin trap, though, right? Latin trap, then bow. So it's a little Different bit of reggaeton, everything. Like, okay. I don't have a genre, so I can't answer that question. Okay, not yet. You I don't know? think there's going to be one. Oh, so you're just trying to be painting your own. So if you had to describe your music, what would you say it is? It's Jeezly. It's just, I can't compare it. I, it's not, nobody I can sound like. Mm-hmm. It's nobody I, that inspired me to do it, like to sound like that. You mm-hmm. get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it's just. It's just weird. Okay, so you know how some people be like, oh, I have like car late night music or I spice be like, I got bad bitch music. Like, what do you, what's your vibes? You feel like? My vibes? You want me to be honest? Yeah, what's your vibes? Like, I like to listen to wor- music without words. So you like beat, melody. Tech house, a lot of tech, tech music, techno, EDM, um, stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. So you feel like you're mixing that with everything else? No, I'm not mixing. I'm not actually adding that. I'm just, that's just stuff that I listen to. Listen to. to. Okay. To disconnect. Right. From what I usually, what's always around, like the drill, Mm -hmm. the hip hop, the rap, the reggaeton, the dembo, like music like that with no words just like takes me far away. Okay. So it helps your creative eye, I guess? Very, very much. Yes. yes. That's different. Mm -hmm. I haven't heard that yet. Yeah. So, um... So if someone never heard your music, what song would you tell them to listen to? Ruleteo. Okay. Ruleteo, the 42 song, 42 the one song. you said. Okay, yeah. okay. Like, <laughs> you know, I'm in it, so yeah. I'm getting it. Mm-hmm. But uh, they said that my friend, my friend, she's in tune, and she said the, I don't want to say his name wrong, but Rochi is a, Rochi? Rochi is a mm-hmm. big artist. Yeah, he's one of the there. biggest. I would so say how that. did y'all connect? Honestly, so the song was originally me by myself. Mm-hmm. I had two verses and all that. Like, it was complete, and I was going to drop it like that. But I was okay. like, you know what? It's something missing here. Like, I can add something. <clears throat> and then I got two, two, two of the artists that's on it, which is DV Guns and Yomel. They mm-hmm. jumped on it. They hit me. They, they jumped on it. And then we shot the video. Okay. Just us three. We shot the video, and the behind the scenes went viral. Mm, it's like, okay. they recorded it and posted it, the behind the scenes, and they basically posted mm-hmm. the whole song. Okay. Yeah, so Rochi ends up calling the other artist, Stevie. They cool. Yeah. So he calls him like, yo, I want to get on the song. Like, the song is fire. Right. So it was up from there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Like it was so, God. All organic. Mm-hmm. So I guess when meeting people, because you travel a lot? Yeah. So are you meeting at people like other states? Or do you feel like you meet oh, a lot yeah. of Spanish artists here? Or how are you connecting with the Spanish artists? With the Spanish artists, I meet them a lot in DR, Miami, oh, okay. Puerto Rico, stuff like that. So the forty two forty two song. So is that can you break it down for me a little bit? Is that a place? Is that a La Forty, yeah. Forty two is a place. It's like <laughs> a real, real underground, like the ghettoist of the ghettoist. <laughs> but it'd be lit, like so lit all day, all night. And this is in Puerto Rico? In DR, DR, in DR? Dominican okay. Republic, yeah. Okay. So is it like would you say that's like the Bronx or that's like our forty second street? I nah, it's like the Bronx, but like Bronx. But like the hood. Like version? the ghetto. <laughs> the ghettoist Bronx. Like you see you see how like how they do car meets, like in the nighttime, yeah, yeah, the, the yeah. Dominicans, and they'll oh, do the mad music. Yes, yes, like that, but like that vibes. Three, to- three times more ghetto. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. So are you going to, you shot the video in where, DR or here? In DR, yeah. Okay. So how is it like going back and forth? 
I mean, it's fun. I like it because I have fun doing it. I don't see it as work. Like, I okay. enjoy it. So. What's your favorite part? Shooting videos. Shooting well, videos. We might want to cut that. Yeah, we're going to ask that one time. What's your favorite part? My favorite part is shooting videos and just creating. Like, I like to create music. I like to record. I like to just... I, my favorite part, honestly, is when, when I record and everything and I hear it. Okay. And it's like, wow, it's actually it came together. Are you a perfectionist? Do you feel like spend a lot of time on songs? Or do you feel like you got to, like, sleep on it and go back to it later? Like, what, how you be... What's your process? I spend a lot of time on it. Because I'm real picky with my sound. Uh-huh. Very, very picky. So, yeah. You could say I'm a perfectionist. Because if... If I don't like it, if I have to do it 50 times, I'll do it 50 times, 51 times. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so what are you working on at the moment? Ooh, a lot of things, a lot of things. Like, whoo, English features, Spanish features, okay. but crazy. Like, things I would never expect, and that's just a blessing, man. I seen you have ran into um, Anwell. Yes, I did at his concert. That? I got invited to his concert. He invited me, and it was great. It was, mm -hmm. it was, it was great. It was fun. I mean, I enjoyed it. Song on the way. <laughs> <laughs> She's fishing right now. Maybe, She's fishing I mean, right now. Of, like maybe, possibly. Most likely. Most likely. Yeah. Okay. Cause mm -hmm. he's super big. Yeah, he is, and he's great. Like he's one of my favorite Latin trap, like top top two. Latin trap. Mm -hmm. Do you um do you really care? So you see how they have like hip hop billboards and they have Latin billboards. Do you have like a goal of like where you want to dominate, or are you kind of like happy with whichever way works? I'm happy with whatever, honestly. Like whatever gravitates. Like mm -hmm. you know, I'm coming for both though. Okay. I can't. I don't want to be just one. Okay. If you get what I mean. If right. they had a Spanglish billboards, that would be me. <laughs> but no, if I could do both, shit, yeah. Okay, so um, so what New York, I mean, I don't want to say New York artists, but what, like, yeah, what New York artists are you into? Right now? Yeah. Or who you linking up with, or who you listening <clears> to? <throat> you said Lola, you said Ice Spice. Anybody like, else? the girls I'm listening to, the guys, I like, like, I'm really into this Jersey drill scene right now. Okay. Like, shit got me going crazy, but, I mean, yeah, I like the Jersey, all, the, all of them. I listen to all of that, all that, all that real gangster, gritty mm -hmm. <sighs> shit. Yeah, I like it. Okay, so you like, have you got on a Jersey beat yet? Or yes. Is it out? No. Okay, what is, what's the hold up? Why are you holding all the sauce? What's it's going not on? up to me, man. <laughs> don't, I don't know. I don't know. It's just, we're waiting for the right time, you know? Like, you can't okay. just, it's, it's art and, and it's a lot behind everything. So, you okay. know, you can't just, you know, you know how it is. Okay, so real strategic. So you, and your, you and your team is masterminds over here. Basically. You could say. <laughs> so, yeah, you could say. <laughs> How many people is a part of your team right now? <sighs> I don't even know. <laughs> um, if you had to guess. Count. If you could if you had to guess. Right now, to shit. I'll give you I'll give you a good eight, nine. Eight, nine. Okay, okay, okay. And that's so, not even being um, you know. Exact. I just, exactly. Just an That's estimate. Just an estimate. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how did you meet everybody? How did you decide you, you valid to join the squad? I mean, <laughs> <clears throat> just me shooting my shot. I mean, I was opening for an artist. His name's Kiko Crazy. He's a Latin artist, mm -hmm. international. He's, he, shout out to Kiko. I was opening for him in a club, mm -hmm. and I see he walked in with this team, and there was this one person on that walked in with him that I've been following for a minute that I've been mm -hmm. trying to pitch my songs to uh -huh. so they could listen to it so they could help me with it and okay. guide me because okay. I had songs in the tuck but mm -hmm. I didn't want to drop it. so there was this one person that I seen that I've been kind of hitting up for the longest and I hit him up again mm -hmm. I'm like yo I see you whatever let me play you this song let me hear this I ran mm -hmm. down and they got they replied to me and we got together and it was just up history yeah yeah for sure okay so was you pitching to a couple different people or was you following that person and you liked that their journey? I had a couple different people. Okay. I was just testing. Because I had this one song. It's called Que Rico. It's out, by the way. Uh -huh. This one song, I had it. I did it in DR. This is when I was just by myself, just doing it for fun. I would go to DR, record music, come back okay. just to have it. So I had this one song and I'm like, you know what? I don't want to just drop music to drop no more. It got to make sense. Okay. Like, ain't no way. Because I liked it, the song. Like, I uh -huh. really believed in it. I'm like, I just needed that one push behind that song and 
<clears throat> so I was pitching it to everybody, getting different opinions, different people, different managers, people, you know, just trying to find fishing something. Around. Yeah, okay. and, and you doing all this independently. Yeah, by yourself. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, and then I found the right person, and yeah. Uh huh. So what is it that you was looking for? I guess when looking for a team, I guess just someone that saw the same vision as me. Because mm-hmm. the vision I have is just very, very different. Like mm-hmm. I said, I can't compare the sound or the, st- the strategies or anything like anybody else. Mm-hmm. So they just had to see it for what it was. And it's, it was hard, and it was very hard for people to see it at the time because I didn't have anything. Like okay. I, was, I didn't have mad music. I, I probably had like one, two songs, our English okay. one and Spanish one. And it didn't have numbers or nothing. Like, mm-hmm. you know, so I appreciate all that, you know? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so now. Looking at your videos now, it's giving like high tech production. It's looking like you have your fits, your looks. What's like, how are you prepping for a music video? It looks like you spend a lot of time on it. I mean, at first, I would just I get my hair done, I hit up my stylist, <laughs> my hairstylist, like, yo, I need uh-huh. this color. I decide my hair color, I put my mm-hmm. fit together. And oh, so you, you style yourself? Yeah, but now lately, like for the, for the last video I had with, called Tomala with Kiko El Crazy, I got a stylist for that one. Okay. And I have another video coming out and I got a stylist because honestly, it's, it's a, a headache. Yeah, it's a lot. That's why I'm like, girl, you was doing all it's that. It's a headache. Like, I love to dress myself. Don't get me wrong because I have like this type of style that's just different. But mm-hmm. it's too much. When you got a lot of other things to focus on, mm-hmm. it's hard to focus on your fit. Like, yeah. That's like, for me, that's very important. Like, yeah. the fit, the hair. I don't care about makeup, because I don't really wear makeup, I don't wear makeup like that. Okay. So, but um, yeah, the fit, the nails, and the hair, like. Okay, so how do you feel like you got your sense of style? Who do you feel like had a good style that you was like, that's just cute, that's cute, you like the way they dress? Or you just like being extra, like, I don't I know. like to be different and weird, like, <laughs> I like to be, I like to wear shit nobody would wear, like. Okay. Like so you like to stand out. I love it. Yeah. Okay. Like I don't like to wear things everybody got on. Like like for mm-hmm. example, like I like to get fly with fly shit here and there. But yeah. everybody got all the fly shit. You feel yeah, me? Yeah. You wanna dig deep, look creative. Texture, right. That's texture. what make you swaggy. New York shit. They know. If you know, you know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 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 So. All right. So boom. So you styling yourself. Production is getting there. Um. So musically, right? What makes you, like, how do you decide what songs you want to shoot and drop versus what songs you want to hold for special occasions? The timing and, I guess, like, my momentum at the time. Like, it's it's a bunch of little key things that go with what song I'm going to put out next. Okay. Like, this is why I do all this different type of music. Like, Mm -hmm. I could do a song for any type of, any vibe. Like, I have. Okay. Any vibe. So, like, let's say right now... I'm getting the English momentum back up. Okay. Like I'm in I'm in a lot of podcasts, English, mm-hmm. doing working English programs or doing English freestyle like on the radar, mm-hmm. stuff yeah. like that. That would be good. Like to, not to go towards dropping an English track. Yeah. You feel me? But it all gotta make sense at the right. end of the day. So yeah. So on the radar, I think you like one of the only people to do English and Spanish at that time. Maybe am I? I think so. I'm, he dropped a lot, so I ain't about to quote it, but I feel like it. <laughs> So like um so you wanted to go in there and do both, or you you know just trying to reach both? Uh, yeah, I just do both. That's just, just what I do. So I just did what I do. No, I know, but like okay, so on the English side, of course you know about on the radar, but like on the Spanish side, like are they talking about it over there too? Yeah, they talk. About oh, they are for real. Mm-hmm. So, and then they, there's another program just like on the radar. It's called DJ Scuff, uh, which you mm-hmm. go up there and you spit, and like that's where the hot artists that Spanish go. Mm-hmm. And I did that too, and they like to compare it and shit. But yeah, they be talking okay. about it. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. okay. They in tune. <laughs> okay, so like, um, so getting into it, right? So some, so it's, it's artists that could be there and be lit, and I guess be on this side and be lit. Um, people like to be if like six nine is on the Spanish side. He's like, I guess, big over there. I don't know. You could tell me yes or no. I don't really follow Six Nine. Like I'm not into none of that. Cause he got a song with this Spanish girl, and she's like, I don't know, they said the song with number yeah. one or something. Like yeah, that. I mean they doing their thing, but. I'm so do you feel like stuff happens over here could affect your reach over there, or you feel like y'all keep it pretty separate, or like people know about his whole story and don't care? Like, how does it go? <laughs> different people got different morals. Okay. 
especially where you at. Like, you're from New York, you got, you're going to have different morals than somebody from DR. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, what, what, what we not jacking over here, mm-hmm. they all the way going to jack it because they're going to see past that. They just, you're right. going to look at, uh, they, you know. So, yeah. it's just, it, it depends. Like, I don't know. It depends. I don't know. So, do you feel like, um, so what's some stuff you feel like, okay, that, what's some stuff you feel like they're not absolutely jacking? Or you feel like. Who? Over, who's not jacking? Like, in DR, right? You see how, okay. like, over here, the whole snitching thing, we not with it? Is there some stuff out there, like, we're not, abs- we're not looking past? Or is there some stuff that, like. We with it all. <laughs> Give a huh? fuck. They don't give a fuck. Oh, they don't care? Uh, oh, so they so that's kind of good, I guess, because artists could go really far at that point. If, if you think it's good, I mean, I don't think it's good. So you think people should have morally Of course. Not stand I mean, stuff? of course. Yes, you have to have. You got to stand. Like, if you, f- if you feel some type of way, you got to stand on that. Mm-hmm. You just can't. You can't switch up just because just because this that no yeah you feel me like that's so stand on what you say pretty much right or stand right, on right, what you right, do right okay so so in making choices in the music industry you seem very strategic on like your choices you make the people you work with the songs you release mm-hmm. the video and things like that so like um so are you learning from someone are you learning as you go did you get advice from somebody i'm definitely learning as i go and like i said the people on my team they teach Mm -hmm. me everything and we're all growing together but i've definitely learned from them and they're guiding me in a great way and i Mm -hmm. feel like yeah it's it's all organically like Mm -hmm. i don't have a a book to tell me how to (laughs) how to you know like it's just right like it's just you know so what's one lesson you learned for like you know it's other people watching other people that's upcoming what's one lesson you learned so far on your journey ignore all the negativity and ignore all the people that's going to tell you no because there's going to be a lot of people that are going to tell you no especially if you're a female mm-hmm. like you like you they're going to tell you yeah. no they're going to laugh at you they're going to laugh in your face they're going to spit at you and they're going to step on you but what you're going to do you're going to keep on you're going to keep on because eventually they're going to spin and they're going to be sucking dick <laughs> okay. and they're going to be a dub Excuse my language, but yeah, it's the truth. Okay, so like, so how is that? Cause do you feel like opportunities are like shifting because you're a girl, or do you feel like? Cause I feel like guys be having other intentions. We know how that be. Yeah. So drawing that line, and then some niggas. Well, when we interviewed Kitty, she was like, you know, when you draw that line, they be like trying to block opportunities from you. Oh I yeah, mean, a lot of people get offended or intimidated. Yeah. Like so a lot, felt, like a lot of rappers, a lot of rappers, like let's say. Yeah. What? Why are you saying damn? No, I'm saying like, so Kitty also said the same thing. Like, they'll try to block opportunities from y'all. They definitely like, will. So I'm like, damn, you experienced that already type yeah. shit. I was like, wow. That's definitely happened to me before. Yeah. For sure. Like, they want to block you from everything. They don't want to see you win. If you ain't give that ass to them when they wanted it, mm-hmm. they don't want to see you win. So how does, does that discourage you or anything? No. Nope. I don't give a fuck what they got to say about <laughs> me. Like, what? <laughs> Bye. Honestly, like. It, but to some people, like, not everybody's as strong-minded. Right, that's what so, But, like, in this world, you got to be. Like, especially mm-hmm. as a female. Because mm-hmm. they say it's a man's world, right? Mm-hmm. No, babes, it's not. Okay. You stand on what you believe in and don't let nobody tell you nothing else. And watch how far you're going to go. Mm, that was a good advice for yeah. the people. <laughs> so do you feel like you would date anybody in the industry, though? Or you feel like you're good, you want somebody separate? I mean, I would prefer somebody that's not in, but I'm not going to say I would never. Okay. Because, you know, whatever happens, happens. But I would prefer someone more low. Yeah. You know. Some people are 50-50. Some people think high-profile relationships help the music. What you think? I mean, I feel like it can. Yeah. It yeah. definitely can. Like, if, I mean, if you were a high-lit <laughs> lit as artist, I mean, of course it's going to help you, but... That's my problem. I don't ever, ever in my life want to be known as this nigga's bitch. Mm, okay. Or this person's, no. Yeah. You feel yeah, me? Oh, she got lit because she's, she's with him. Or she got lit for this nigga clout. Like, no. Mm-hmm. You feel me? I don't want that. So that's why I prefer nobody in, that's like a rapper or nothing that. Like, okay. it's cool to have it because they'll understand. Like, you can't mm-hmm. always be there, but I'm good. Yeah. So... Is you single because relationships you feel like are difficult right now or you just want to focus on your career? I really just want to focus on my career. Like, I have a lot going on and I don't think I can dedicate myself to a man right now. Okay. But when the time comes, <laughs> I'll be happily <laughs> open. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So what are some, like, goals or expectations you have for your career in the future? Not like Oh, I, I want to have, like, my own concert, like, a really okay. big, Headline, like, big in concert. my city, Madison, like, like you know, I want to do that. 
and I know I'm gonna do it. Just it's gonna take a lot of hard work, but I I'm I'm not gonna stop till I can. Mm -hmm. Are you um big on numbers? Like, do you be like, oh, I need a gold plaque or I need a million views or whatever the case may be? Or are you more so like? I know it's important. The numbers, yeah. it's very important. It's but, okay if you don't care about it. A lot of people don't. But I really don't. Like, I, I go for my my music, my talent. Like, you know, just my work. Mm -hmm. And if okay. the audience gravitate to it, then that's amazing. And if they don't, cool. It means I gotta keep working. Okay. So five years from now, where do you see yourself? Hmm. Five years from now, mm -hmm. very established as an artist. Okay. I see, um, I mean, I see, you mean as an artist? Where do I see myself or I as mean, a person? Like in general, some people want to do other businesses. Some people want to get into acting. Like, what? what? I mean, I'm open to all that, but mm -hmm. I mean, that's not like a, I just no. see me as a big brand. Okay. Do you want to stay in New York? Do you want to move somewhere else? Like, like. It's, it's like a it's hate. Like, it's like a hate love with New York. It's like I don't I ever, I don't ever want to leave, but I need to leave. Like, I, yeah, mm -hmm. you, I want to get out mm -hmm. and go where? I don't even know. Not yet. You're still traveling, so you yeah. I, I don't even know. I can't tell you where I want to live because I've been so many places, but it's like I can't live here. <laughs> like when you once That's you're from New York, it's like it's very hard for you to adjust. Really, people be like, I like Miami. I don't think I could live in Miami. I don't know if I can either. There's too much going on. I don't know if I can live in <laughs> Miami either, but yeah. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. So, um, what should people expect moving forward? A lot of music, a lot of um, unexpected collaborations. Okay, we're waiting. We got no name drops, y'all. None. But, okay. <laughs> yeah, we'll and just you. yeah, <laughs> just stay tuned, man. Stay tuned. Y'all gonna remember this face. Don't don't pay attention to the hair because the hair changes a lot. But okay. the face, remember the face. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so tell people where to find you. How can they tune in with you? Jeezly Official on Instagram, TikTok. Jeezly Official. Jeezly, G-E-E-Z-L-Y, official. Yeah. Okay. All right, and we good. Yes.